The Red Meat Profit Partnership and Beef and Lamb New Zealand Feed Smart tool operates on a series of defaults for feed quality, utilisation, land type and animal performance. These provide a reasonably accurate estimate of required intake on pasture but can be adjusted to suit your specific situation. This is particularly important when feeding crops and or supplements in winter. To adjust the settings, simply click on the settings tab, which is the two cog icons, and it will take you to the settings page. You can adjust land type from flat to steep to high country. You can adjust pasture or crop quality. 10.8 megajoules of energy per kilogram of dry matter is an industry standard. You can adjust pasture growth rate. That's key, particularly when feeding in spring and summer, when as well as what's on offer, more feed will be grown under the animals each day. Feed utilisation is important. The default is 90%, but you can adjust this up or down depending on the time of year, the crop, the type of animals, weather conditions and so on. Supplement feed quality is obviously important, determining how much the animals can eat and how well they will perform on that supplement. If you need guidelines for both supplement feed quality or pasture or crop quality, have a look at Beef and Lamb New Zealand's publication, A Guide to Feed Planning for Sheep Farmers. The other settings to adjust are animal performance related. You can adjust the birth size of lambs or the birth size of calves, which will affect the gestation requirements of the ewe or the cow. You can also adjust the weaning weight of lambs or the weaning weight of calves. This will influence the amount of milk demand on the ewe or the cow and the amount of feed eaten by the lamb or by the calf while at foot with their mother. Once you've adjusted these settings to your particular situation, simply click Save. If at any time you want to go back to the defaults, simply click Reset. And you can change these as many times as you like as you plan for different crops or different feed supplements or different times of the year. Don't forget to check out our other videos on how to use the FeedSmart app, how to save it to your home screen on your tablet or your smartphone, or to how to use the different allocation tools.